we cannot allow our emotions our situations our trials and all around the world to lead our lives deep down we are the temple of the holy spirit and with the help of god we have to learn to lead our lives we have to join with the god of salvation and give salvation to all of us that's why in the book of jeremiah chapter 6 verse 16 it is written don't go on run 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 if you don't want accident in your life you have to do three things what is that stop look around and then proceed ah uh, <coughs> national highway is our uh, it is made for me what is that let everybody stop if you just cross what will happen without seeing the vehicle that come on that road may finish you off you got to stop every day you got to look into your life you got to look into all around what god is doing in your life what god is saying to you why does god allow these things in your life what are the things trials for some he will send trials and for others it's written by signs and wonders for some people suddenly wonders will take place the lord is saying stop recognize the lord who is your father is active in you he wants you to be with him through trials through wonders through war sometime i know you are saying we get plenty of war in our home fathers god allows wars in our lives that we may come to stop stillness we don't go on run 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 and come to realize who am i and recognize the salvation the lord brings into our lives and then proceed with the lord who is at work in us life means taking time off as you are doing now and look into ourselves what's happening to me what is the lord doing to me where am i going take stock up my life and then proceed with my god who is at work in me ephesians 3:20 our god is at work in us that the purpose and plan of god may be fulfilled in us philippians chapter 2 verse 13 god is at work in you for a greater glory yes now through trials signs and wonders through mighty hand suddenly god's hand lifting you up you may have some experiences by great terrors according to the lord he uses seven methods to draw man back to himself and that's what happened when man fell in sin god came to adam where are you my son where are you my daughter they were supposed to hide under the lord that no evil can touch them but they are hiding from the lord what a sad story they are supposed to hide in the lord but now they are hiding from the lord that's what we read in matthew chapter 9 verse 26 onwards when jesus saw the people they were like sheep without the shepherd people are running here and there like sheep without the shepherd there is nobody to guide them nobody to lead them they do not know where they are going 
God comes to save them. God comes to talk to them. Where are you? And then he says, Adam says, the lady whom you gave because of her, all this mess, not me. The lady, I am not, I am okay. You are not okay, she is not okay. When man lives in sin, he separates himself from God and from one another. The lady whom you gave, or cast on the two fruits, eh? blames him because of you, I got into mess because of the so-called lady whom you gave. And Eve, not because of me, because of the snake which you have allowed to tempt me, I am in the mess. God never says a word. Come, come, we will sit panjayat. Who is really right, who is wrong? He never says. He brings them back. He brings them back to himself. He never uses a, even a single word. What's happening? Who is wrong? Who is right? He says, we can't afford. We can't afford our differences to destroy our fullness. That's why it is written in 1 Corinthians 13, 10. When the perfection of God is part of you, when the perfection of God is allowed to rule you, you can handle your imperfections. That's why in 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9, the Lord says, Do not look at your weakness. But look at the strength that sustains your weakness. Do not look at your struggle and proclaim your struggle. But look at your God who continues to sustain you, protect you, lead you and celebrate your life in God. Do not lose your confidence. The enemy's game is to make you dry up with the empty. Whereas God is to help you to see what the little you have and to protect that little and to build it up from there. That's why in the book of Revelation chapter 3 verse 2 he says, Hello my dear, where are you going? What is left out in you is very little. You think you are living, but you are dying. Please take care of what is lef- little left out. See, read that sentence. Wake Revelation up. 3, 2. Ah. Wake up. Wake up. And strengthen. And strengthen. What remains. What remains. And is on the point of death. What remains at the point of death. Ah. For I have not found your works perfect in the sight of my God. Take care of what the little that is left out. Otherwise, even the little you have may be dried out. My dear friends, Sangam on Plus TV is God's gift for you for our times. Like, comment, share and subscribe. God will do wonders in your life. Praise the Lord.